Welcome to J.J. Pizzuto's Fabric Science Swatch Kit, 11th edition from Fairchild Books. This video will show you how to assemble the swatch kit and get you started on your discovery of the fascinating world of textiles. The Fabric Science Swatch Kit includes 114 2 inch by 3 inch swatches in two rubber banded bundles, a pit glass, a key to fabric swatches cream coloured pamphlet, 32 lab assignments, and the cardstock fabric sample mounting pages. Let's get started putting together your swatch kit. Be sure not to remove the rubber bands from the packets until you actually begin mounting your swatches. Your swatches have been bundled in the proper order for mounting on the fabric sample sheets. Set aside the sample bag for now. First, you will fill the fabric info on the sample mounting sheets. Take out the Key to Fabric Swatches pamphlet and turn to the first sample mounting page. Then turn the key to page 1, Fibres. Write in the swatch number, fabric name or description, fibre content from the key in the corresponding space in the fabric sample sheet for swatches 1 through 114. You will fill in the remainder of the information on the fabric sample sheets during your course. Now, let's mount the fabric swatches. You will need two bundles of fabric, the fabric sample sheets, and either double stick tape or masking tape, which are not included. Swatch packet one with a neutral coloured band contains swatches one through 63. The top fabric in packet one is a blue denim. Packet two with the blue band contains swatches 64 through 114. The top fabric in packet two is a pink faux fur. Carefully remove the rubber band from packet one. Keep the packet upright with the face up. Apply a piece of double-sided tape or looped masking tape to the designated space on the fabric sample sheet for swatch one, about half an inch from the top edge. Mount the fabric swatch face up. It is very important not to turn the swatch over. As you see, some fabrics have a face and a back. Mount all the swatches in packet one. Repeat the process for mounting the swatches in packet two in the blue rubber band until all swatches are mounted. Remember to mount fabrics in the order they are stacked. Here are quick troubleshooting tips. If you come across duplicates from the cutting process, just discard the extra sample. If you think you are missing a swatch, be sure to check that two swatches are not stuck together. Note that there is also beige tissue paper every 10 swatches that should be discarded. If you drop your swatch bundles and the swatches get out of order, or you are not sure which side of the swatch is the front or back, consult the Fabric Swatch Quick Guide online in the Fabric Science Swatch Kit Studio at bloomsburyfashioncentral.com. And of course, consult your instructor if you are having any trouble with your swatch kit. Your kit also includes a plastic pit glass to help complete certain assignments. To use it, simply unfold it and place it on a fabric sample. Put your eye to the magnifying lens to get a detailed look at the sample. You will notice that the pick glass has a one inch by one inch dimension that is marked on the inside. Your kit may also include a studio access card to redeem online at Bloomsbury Fashion Central. 
Instructors can also access teaching resources including PowerPoints, an instructor's guide, fabric answer sheets, and information on how to order the instructor's swatch set and how to use this swatch kit with the Fabric Science textbook. For more information, visit the Fabric Science Swatch Kit Studio at bloomsburyfashioncentral.com. Thank you for choosing the Fabric Science Swatch Kit and good luck in your textile studies.